Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add PayPal payment gateway in WordPress. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So first thing that we have to do here is we first have to check if the PayPal option is available on the application that we use for our commerce. So in this case, we have or we use WooCommerce. So let's go ahead and click on WooCommerce here and we want to go ahead and go to settings. So since in settings, that's where we're going to basically enable some stuff that includes payment. So let's go ahead and go to the payment tab here. And under this payment, you should be able to see an option that says PayPal. Now, if you're like me and you don't see the PayPal option here, well, we have to install an application for that. Now, to do that, first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the plugin section here. Go ahead and hover over it. And then from here, you want to click on add new plugin. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to search for a plugin. So let's go ahead and just enter PayPal here and just press on enter. And since we're using WooCommerce here, we're going to use the WooCommerce PayPal payments since it's the most compatible one. So let's go ahead and click on install now. And from here, it's going to start installing. And once it actually installs, what we need to do is we need to activate the plugin. So let's go ahead and click on activate. Now, in this case, let's wait for it to activate. But once it activates, we need to go back into WooCommerce. So go ahead and click on WooCommerce here and go to settings again. And again, we need to go back to payments. Now, under payments, what we need to do here is look for people. So it's typically going to be at the very bottom. So what we need to do is we need to set this up. So at the right side, you'd see a button that says finish set up. So let's go ahead and click on finish set up. And from here, we need to basically provide a few details about our PayPal account. So since we want to receive payments on our PayPal account, we need to provide additional uh, details about it. So for now, let's go ahead and click on the activate people option here. And from here, it's going to uh, give you this option. So please wait. From here, it's going to do this. So here, going to say connect a people account and start accepting. Let's go ahead and just click on next here. Here, it's going to ask you for a password. So enter your password. And here, it's starting to load up. So it's going to say allow people to connect your account with WooCommerce. So let's go ahead and click on agree and connect. Now, by the way, if you're not aware before, it's basically going to... Um, uh, do or uh, ask a, a lot of other stuff on our account itself. So... All right, now it's kind of automated because you need to log in into your account. But for now, since it's trying to confirm our account, so what we need to do next is we need to basically confirm it. So let's go ahead and go to our top right here. Let's go to our email. And here is our email. So let's go back here. So it's going to say why we're asking for more information. And here, let's go ahead and let's click on confer complete information now and just follow all the steps. Now, from here, if you are, you've completed all those information and you've successfully uh, added or confirmed your people account here, by the way, uh, what you need to do here is you need to have a uh, very specific people account here that is for business. So the personal one and the business one is kind of different. So make sure that when you create your account, you actually chose the uh, business one. So just to give you an example, I'm going to open up another window here incognito window so let's just say PayPal here and from here to top right click on sign up and from here you have personal and business so make sure that you choose business here as they have different functionality so if you have a personal account make sure that you use a business account so create another one if you need to and use that as a means for connecting your account now again, as you can see, when we go back into WooCommerce here, we have a few details needed. So live email address, merchant ID, live client ID, as well as secret key. Now in this case, before with how people is set up in WooCommerce, it doesn't actually automatically get all, all of those details from a, your account itself. So previously you had to basically get those manually. I'll be showing you just in case if that's the case for you, it's going to ask you manu or to enter all these details manually. I'll be showing you where to get it so your live email address is your email address itself your live merchant id is in your home uh, page here and people 
So what we need to do here is we need to go to our account at the top right and we go to our profile settings here. So go to profile settings first. Oops, uh, you have to go to account settings. And from here, you want to go to business information. And from here, you should be able to see your merchant or people merchant ID. Now, once you've done that and paste it here, what we need next is the live client ID. Now, for us to get that, what well, first we want to do here is we want to go to developer at the top right of your section here. And you want to scroll down a bit until you see the APL, API credentials here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you should be able to basically create an app. So in this case, let's go ahead and cl click on create app. But since we all automatically create our account, it's going to uh, automatically fill those deals up. So, but if you aren't able to do that uh, automatically, I'll be showing you how to do it. So in this case, we want to go ahead and enter this as merchant app name. I'm going to say test, just to give you an example. And in here, we have the sandbox business account. By the way, you have if you want to use this for live, you have to switch this to live because if you choose to retain this as sandbox, you're just basically testing it. But if you want to test payments, make sure that you retain this as sandbox. But again, if you want to use this live on your store immediately, make sure that you choose the live option here. So let's go ahead and click on create app. Now in the next page, you should be able to see a section there that says client ID as well as a secret key. So all you need to do there is just copy those IDs and you'll be able to basically play, paste it in here and you should be good. Now again, since uh, the client kind IDs here and secret keys are very important, I have to inform you that do not share all these details here as if you share this to other people, your site might get vulnerable or you'll be prone to attacks. So make sure that you hide those keys and do not share them to other people. Now in this case, once you've done that, go ahead and save it. And from here, you could go ahead and use your site as you would and people should now be set up in your website. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to and if the inspo thank you for watching